Hey there everybody, what's new in your whole universe? I hope that everything is fine and today I will talk about how I was working as a photographer in Russian Federation. By the way, I'm a Russian man who brings value to my own experiences and uh, you can join to our <laughs> the channel if you want, if you found this video on internet. If uh, you are a subscriber, then you are welcome. Hello again. Yes, this talk will be good for you because uh, you can reflect it from your life perspective because you are maybe foreigner and you want to look what uh, how it looks in Russia, work as a photographer, or maybe you are wanting to go to Russia, you want to go to Russia and to earn some dough from it. Yes, may, <laughs> mate. And uh, let's do our talk. First of all, how I was studying it and when I was studying it. I started it uh, in 2015 when I joined to the video club in the university. I, I was studying at university and uh, in our university we had a fair. Fair it means the place where you can uh, kind of uh, find, uh, I don't know how to say it, uh, f find uh, opportunities to join to different clubs, clubs of sections and uh, some of the interests, hobbies and uh, stuff of this nature. I joined to video club because uh, I decided to go to student television and uh, there I was uh, learning videography stuff. Videography it is like photography but with video. You do compositions, you do videos, you take a look, take a shot, amazing, good looking, nice, super amazing nice looking okay and uh, then when i was uh, in 2016 i decided to change like uh, not change but to add firstly but then change my opportunities to photography stuff i added photography in 2016 and i started to learn photography too not only videography i started to do photos i started to do some of the sessions uh, photo sessions with people i started to be with uh, my friends, hey, do you, do you want to take a picture? Yes, uh, do you want to build a snowman? Okay, I will take a picture of you, how you build uh, your snowman. Or maybe do you want to like uh, to do photos uh, at dormitory? Because I was uh, at dormitory at those moments. And I was learning this stuff, it was amazing. Next, when uh, it became like 2017, I started to do this more, 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 2018 too. And then I started to do photos of uh, good people, I mean, a good, uh, like, godness, godness, Jesus Christ, they are like, uh, like lords. And I was doing photos for video bloggers, for uh, some streamers uh, for from Russia, Alasha, for example, is uh, one streamer from Russia, thank you to her, she's a nice girl. And uh, also to different types of people, I started to do photos from the really nice level and also I was doing conferences, shooting, I was doing like concerts, also festivals, shooting and uh, some photos uh, with Vogue, <laughs> not Vogue but uh, like journals, thumbnails, I need to do also conferences, forums and uh, stuff of this nature, of this shape. And then when it uh, Right now, I continue to do this, but uh, not so frequently. I do this for my own, I photo myself and I know composition. I know how pages look, I know how our faces look, I know how to portray them and uh, something of it. What have I learned from it? Right now, I am more confident in, uh, in photo shooting because I understand how different shapes look. I understand how perspective works, I understand how how to take a photo, I understand how to place composition, this uh, uh, golden area and some proportions, ratios, golden ratio or maybe some of this type of uh, sna snail, yes, and uh, different types of uh, <laughs> yale, I don't know, it was rhyming, and uh, I, I can do this, it is amazing. And also, I started to 
a little bit of earning from it. Not fully, but uh, a little bit. I was uh, doing it f primarily for experience and uh, to to grow my confidence in it and also to work with people because uh, you have a leverage when you do this for free and you have kind of yes i'm free and i'm like can do anything having a leverage is uh, having a freedom around it is like when you when you help to uh, someone you are not like a someone who is so guilty oh jesus i didn't take something from you i like to give to people that's why and how much can you earn in russia from this stuff from photo shooting for shooting i don't know how to say it correct let me know in the comment section below you can earn uh, 1000 rubles per hour if you are kind of beginner media level or 3000 if you are more than midi and uh, oh, approximately six seven thousand if you are a god of photography and uh, not super god but professional mega professional six seven thousand rubles per hour it is so rarity by the way six thousand because not so big amount of uh, people do this approximately and uh, in average people earn from 1000 to 2000 rubles and for you as a foreigner you maybe uh, are interested in how much it is how much it is uh, 1000 uh, rubles it is 1000 divided on 60 or se se 70 70 75 it will t it will be kind of 14 13 13 dollars 13 dollars i think yes 13 14 13 14 dollars per hour it is uh, the job of him but not per hour per hour of photo session but retouching and some of the coloring and uh, color grading and shaping and photoshop doing and illustration making it is adding and uh, you are not paid for it in uh, much cases in uh, many cases because you pay for shooting and it's easy you can do this clicking mousey and that's all you are created it it they think so and uh, sometimes the process of photoshopping and uh, light rooming it is so bigger and so uh, sometimes uh, harder for some people and uh, i like it by the way i like to more retouching not uh, photo shooting but maybe i don't like photo shooting so much in comparing with it because i don't have a after focus and uh, i need to do kind of jesus christ working with it and maybe i don't have a B habit of it because need to do this uh, thing also need to communicate with your th uh, person because i have this helios it's russian russian type of thing with adapter here and uh, it is uh, with a good quality with good uh, up armature i don't know what's the name of it aperture aperture and diaphragm and uh, but uh, it is uh, not out of focus and, it, and you need to jesus christ to scroll it jesus and communicate with person and not be slow and uh, that's why i prefer more retouching but with out of focus i like it really out of focus but it is not super nice quality of after focusing i mean that it is like a white white uh, thing but it is amazing too because you can imagine that you are doing some photo shooting you are so creative in this moment but it is so art process you should understand how your how your consumer understands how it is good because you can do different angles you can do different kind of good looking but you should understand what's the quality of work should your client have like you can ask uh, what type of pictures do you want and uh, maybe you can give me an example of it or maybe some of the photos uh, or maybe you can give your own experience how you do uh, how you do this with other people and they will look oh yes i want to this type of uh, type of uh, photo session and especially this one and this one it will be much more better because you you have your own mind and you you have your own attitudes inside of your brain and you understand how looks good for you 
you understand how look how to look as an artist as an artist to pictures like i am an artist it's my vision uh, type of talk and uh, you can understand from it but uh, some people they are like jesus christ what have you done and uh, what have you finished but uh, not for me but sometimes yes maybe they don't like it uh, but i don't remember fully i don't focus on uh, like it i simply okay forgetting <laughs> not forgetting but okay i i know what to do next and uh, it is all art people like my photos people like not like every photo but they pick some and they also place them on avatar on photos sometimes people why do they do this because girls want to show their boobs boots beeps and uh, peeps and also some of the creeps and leaks and uh, dips okay they sh they want to show their pretty f faces and uh, and limpses and uh, also <laughs> males they do mostly for business or maybe the same as girls but mostly for business things and uh, like going and showing that they are cool and amazing yes we are kings here they are showing this but girls oh jesus i'm attractive <laughs> let's show my ass now and maybe from this side too yes as like that <laughs> like Eminem sings and okay I shared to you my experience what have you learned from it have you learned from it let me know in the comment section below it will be interesting to know and uh, have a wonderful day be cool and always uh, straight and going not like a fool <laughs> yes and everything will be amazingly a rule it is a rule to go and be cool yes it's rhyming skills i learned it <laughs> and uh, be amazing you are a nice guy and uh, about job again if you want to earn it something from it it will cost uh, they they will uh, give you 13 20 dollars per your hour hour and then you invest your time in like two hours of retouching or photoshopping okay like it is for money it is for free it is like a bonuses and uh, if you are a nice photographer have a huge experience and also does a nice photo shopping then you will pay more okay thank you a lot for watching improve your skills of photography and photoshopping because it is also improving our mind in a way of thinking you are getting better in your skills and you are like a Jesus, it's amazing. You are doing new colors. You are doing new pictures. You are doing new <laughs> motivations to yourself. And you look at the world with different angles. Okay. See you next time. You are a nice guy. Improve Saldele. Bye.